Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 4 on basic probability. In this lecture, we are going to discuss this question which was asked in GTU winter 2020 exam. So here it is given that events A and B are independent with uh, probability of A equal to 0.26 and probability of B equal to 0.45. And we have to find out this uh, different probabilities, probability of A intersection B, probability of A intersection B bar, probability of A bar intersection B bar. So here A bar means we have to understand that it is the notation for the complement of event A. So these are the different notations for the complement of event A complement or A dash or A bar. So uh, first we complete part A. In part A we have to find out probability of intersection of A and B. Now it is given that A and B are independent. So therefore by the definition probability of intersection must be equal to product of probabilities of A and probabilities of B. So here we are given the probabilities of A and B. Probability of A is 0.26 and the probability of B is 0.45. So if I multiply these two, I obtain 0.117 as the probability of A intersection B. Now in part B, uh, we are asked to find out probability of intersection of A and complement of B. So if uh, you are familiar, then this we can write as probability of A minus probability of A intersection B. So this we can understand uh, using Venn diagram for these two events. Suppose this is event A and uh, this is event B. So uh, this uh, part is intersection of A and B. So here I write A intersection B. Now if I, if I concentrate on this part uh, which is containing part of event A but it does not contain any portion of event B. So this I can consider as intersection of event A with complementary event of B. So it is obvious that this uh, portion shaded by these red lines is intersection of event A with complement of B because we are not containing any portion of B here. So this part is A intersection B complement. Now if you observe this figure uh, we can write down event A as union of these two disjoint events A intersection B bar union A intersection B. These two events are disjoint and their union is event A. So therefore probability of A will be equal to probability of union of these two disjoint events. So if two events are disjoint then probability of their union equal to prob sum of their probabilities. So from this I obtain that probability of a intersection B complement is probability of A minus probability of A intersection B. So I am using this formula here. Okay, you don't have to show how this formula is coming but this is just for understanding. So now we have probability of A and probability of A intersection B. So we can find out probability of A intersection B complement just by subtracting probability of A intersection B from probability of A. So first we write down probability of A here. It is 0 0.26. So 0 0.26 and uh, minus 0.117. This is the probability of A intersection B. And the answer is using uh, my calculator I obtain 0.143 as the probability of A intersection B bar. Now we uh, see what is part C. 
so in part c we have to find out probability of a bar intersection b bar so we know that if uh, a and b are independent then their complementary events are also independent so first we write that it is given that a and b are independent so if a and b are independent then we know that their complementary events are also independent therefore a bar and b bar are also independent and if two events are independent probability of intersection of those two events will be equal to product of a bar and b bar now product of complement of a is 1 minus probability of a and here 1 minus probability of b and we are having values of probability of a and probability of b so probability of a is 0.26 and i have to check what is probability of b it is 0.45 so here i write 1 minus 0.45 so 1 minus 0.26 is 0.74 this is 0.55 and i obtain the product as 0.407 so this is the probability of a bar intersection b bar so we write that probability of intersection of a bar and b bar is 0.407 so in this way we can use the definition of independent events to find out this type of probabilities so here we uh, have used this fact that if a and b are independent probability of a intersection b is product of probability of a and probability of b and we have used this formula probability of a intersection b bar is probability of a minus probability of a intersection b and we have used this fact that if a and b are independent then their complements are also independent so this is all about this session i hope you like it thank you